If you're staging a handgun in your house, are you doing it the right way or the wrong way for safe and effective home defense? In this video, I'll break down some pros and cons, legalities, and tips on how you can safely stage your handgun in your own home. But before we get into that, let me give you a quick reminder. We have a gun giveaway going on right now, and you can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. Okay, so let's talk about staging a gun. We're gonna define staging as placing a gun somewhere where you can get to it quickly should you need it. Say, you're putting a gun in a predetermined location as part of your home defense plan or your personal protection plan. And I'm gonna say right now, up front, if you're staging a firearm, you should be doing so in an individual firearm safe box, either with a biometric lock or a key lock or a button lock or something like that. I don't want you staging a gun somewhere in your house where somebody else can get it because it's not under your direct control. We all heard the story about the police officer in Madison, Wisconsin, who put the gun in the oven, forgot about it, turned on the oven and the gun actually fired. So we're talking about staging a gun first and foremost safely Secondly, there are some legal parameters in many states that if somebody gets hold of your gun and causes a problem with it when you didn't store it properly, you could be liable for that. So I'm going to go right out there right now and say staging a gun is done inside a lockbox. And whether that box has a biometric safe or a push button safe or a key safe, whatever, that gun is locked up and put away. Now, putting the gun in there. There's lots of questions about that. Do we put the gun in there fully loaded? Do, should there be a round in the chamber? Should we set the gun in there and the magazine off to the side of it and then we have to insert the magazine and rack the slide? This is basically up to you, but I'm gonna say again, as we heard before, that in a fire situation, a gun with a round in the chamber can fire and then the round will go down the barrel and will exit. So understand that in a fire, loose ammunition is not going to cause much of a problem because there's not a chamber holding it and driving it in one direction. But a round in the chamber of a gun in a fire can go off, can ignite, and can launch that projectile. So let's keep the firefighters safe and store or stage that gun without a round in the chamber. Now, if you want to do that, with the fully loaded magazine inserted and no round in the chamber, that's great. That's a good plan. But remember, if your gun has a frame or slide mounted safety, make sure that safety is in the off or fire position so that the action is not locked up by the safety. So you don't have to flip that safety up or down to actually be able to rack that slide. You can also store that firearm with the magazine out of it inside that box so when you reach in you grab the firearm you grab the magazine you insert the magazine rack the slide and you're ready to go of course we're talking about auto loading pistols if you're using a revolver you want to make sure that you are able to load that revolver quickly because remember i just asked you not to store that gun with rounds in the chamber because in a fire you could end up with those rounds going off so if you're staging your revolver you want to stage it with a speed loader or a speed strip or something like that so that you can quickly load it and get it going and get it up into action. Now let's talk about where you might want to stage a firearm. If you're putting together a personal protection, a home protection plan, you might want to stage a firearm in a place where you're going to go to help defend your family. If you have a rally point or someplace where you know you want to defend your family, this is where in the comments section, some people might call me crazy. But I'm going to say put a locking gun box with a loaded gun, no round in the chamber, in your child's room. Lock that gun in the box, in the room, keep the key, keep the combination, make sure they can't get into it. Because in an emergency, you're probably going to go check on your kids and see what they're doing. Then you're going to be in the same room where that gun is locked up and you're the only one who has access to it then you can get that gun and defend those kids. Now, this might be controversial, but the gun's locked in a box, kids can't get to it, nobody else can get to it, 
and again, you're gonna go protect those kids, so then you're gonna be right there where the gun is. You might also want to have one staged near your bed or in a closet in your bedroom because quite frankly, a lot of home invasions happen at night. After dark, when you're sleeping, you hear somebody breaking in, you wanna be close to get that firearm. There's some other really obscure places. I've heard people saying that they're putting waterproof boxes in the shower and things like that. I think that might be a little bit over the top, but you can do that. But remember, staging a gun means you're putting it someplace, so it has to be secure. But you also need fast access to that firearm. But you don't want to leave a gun unattended. You're responsible for that. Somebody who is unauthorized could get that gun and get hold of it. So let me recap quickly here. If you're going to be staging a gun or multiple guns around your house, make sure you do it in a manner where they are locked up and unauthorized people can't get to them. These little personal gun safes, either with biometric lock or push button lock or a key lock on these small personal gun safes are a great way to stage a gun. Put that out of sight, but in a place where you know where it is, where you can get to it quickly and get your gun into action. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. Now, I'll remind you again, we have that gun giveaway going on and it ends really soon. All you need to do is click the link below and reveal which brand new gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and check that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.